students. In this video, I'm going to go over some of the Microsoft Outlook 2019 items. So before we begin, we need to make sure we're working in Outlook. So in your um, one of the college's computers, or if you're connected through home at home through VD uh, anywhere, you can type in Outlook here and click on this app, which will open up Microsoft Outlook right there. So this is what we're going to be using over the next um, couple of weeks as we work on Microsoft Outlook email and calendaring items. So the first couple things I want to show you is right in here, how to create that custom signature, uh, creating two folders and then two rules to uh, move your emails into specific folders. So creating that customized signature line We're going to go into File, um, Options, and Mail. And right in here is your signatures. So as you can see, I, I have a couple here. We're going to click on New. We're going to name this. Um, I'll name it. Our course, section C and Z. And then we can type in our signature line. We can type in oof, tap block here. We can change the font. Let's just pick this. Um, I think I specified having at least two items in here. So your name, business program, contact information that you want to share. So I'm just going to put in here um, instructor. And I'm going to bold my name. Make it a little bigger. Add some color. Green seems to be a good color. And there we go. Click OK. Well, first of all, um, you're going to specify if you want it to go as uh, for new messages for sure. I have uh, three different signatures and two also included in replies as well. And there you go. Next thing we're going to do is show you how to do create two different uh, subfolders in your box. Um, we're going to take a screenshot of that and how we're going to create two different rules. So once you have your signature line, you can just send me an email. I'll see that signature line and uh, you'll be able to recreate it on that. So creating two different folders. Here's your fun. I have all these different subfolders, so then I know which emails are perhaps high priority to read. So to create different folders, right click on Inbox, New Folder. You can type anything you want here. I'm just going to go like this, Example 1, and there it is. And then do that again, Example 2. I think it's really nice to have um, perhaps different courses. I have different courses here. You can do the same and then you can specify, you can um, create rules that send emails from your instructors into those specific course courses. Or if you are receiving emails from uh, other students, perhaps group projects, you can have that specified going into the subfolders instead of having just one long list of various emails that you may um, have a risk of not reading a time because there's so many of them. Oops, what did I do? Okay, then uh, the next thing I want to do is how to create two different rules. So go into your file, 
Oops, sorry, not file. to do here is here is go to uh, the home tab click on move and rules now my email um, outlook display is a little smaller so it's not showing up all the options manage rules and alerts we're going to create a new rule um, I would have the first one specified, move messages from someone to a folder, click next, and then from specific people, oops, you're going to have to specify the people, and to your address book you can, should be able to find myself listed there, there I am, click on from, Click OK, and then down here, move it to a specified folder in your inbox. Move it to the example or any of these other folders that you may have created. Click OK, um, and then finish. And then what we can do is go back here, and we want to run the rules now. You can specify which rules you want to run, and it's going to move emails from your inbox into those specific folders that you created. Clicking on Run. I've already done this. And it's going to then move all the emails from your inbox into the specific folders. So that is the first couple of things uh, that we're doing in Microsoft Outlook. Um, the first thing we did was the customer signature, which you're going to send me an email. The next one, we're going to create a, a screenshot. The best way to do that is with our snipping tool. Just search for that. It will time open up. We click new. So to capture the folders, we just want to highlight over something like that, just this so I can see that you've created two different folders in there. Um, next thing we want to do is capture the different rules. So let's click on new for a second. Rules, manage rules. And then we can go back into snippet and take a picture, screenshot of the rules we've created. There you go, save that. Uploaded to the Blackboard assignment, and we are good to go.